flows. Awareness is total acceptability. Rejecting anything is not the way of awareness. Rejecting the mind will not lead you to awareness and also clinging to awareness cannot become the we. You have to understand the mind. Mind is a very useful mechanism. It is the hardware of computer and consciousness within is the software. Mind helps you to express and manifest all that is within you flowering. Certainly the mind has not to be rejected at all. If you reject it, it will remain. Rejection means repression and awareness is total acceptability of all that is as it is and then working it out. You have to accept the limitations of everything Everything, human being, the instrument, all of them have certain good qualities and certain that you have to skip. You look at every person, any person, he has something good to offer. And William Shakespeare says very clearly, none so vile upon this earth that live. Everyone has something good to give mind also has something good to give and can be a useful tool for you. Anything rejected never leaves you. It simply moves from <coughs> conscious to unconscious layers, from the lighted part of your being to the dark layers where you cannot face it and eventually you become oblivious of it, but it remains there more alive than ever. It is better to face the enemy than to keep enemy at your back that is far more dangerous. Then he can attack any moment and you will not know. This applies to everyone. You are working in an office, you have a number of employees, each employee has certain good and certain things that you have to skip if you cannot improve upon that. The same thing allow, applies to anything. Sex has something good to offer. At the same time, there are certain things which you have to overcome and if you cannot, then you be aware that these are the limitations of it and you try to highlight the good parts of it and do not focus, remind the person of his shortcomings all the time. And I have not told you to reject the mind. Mind is a beautiful mechanism. Instead, it is one of the miracles of existence. Man has not been able yet to make anything comparable to human mind. Even the most sophisticated computers are nothing compared to human mind. According to Vedic science, there are ways and means to remember something. And if you talk about numbers, the numbers are basically go in the, when for the mind to remember in threes and fours. You look at the telephone numbers. It is three and four combination, either seven or 10. So if you remember it in that sequence, you can never forget. So the same way, this is a beautiful mechanism and the same applies to Vedic mathematics. All, for all that, mind is a useful instrument. 
A single human mind can contain all the libraries of the world. Its ca capacity is almost unbounded, but it is a machine. It is not you. It To get identified with it is wrong. To make it your master is also wrong. Also be guided by, to be guided by it is again wrong. But to be the master and guide is perfectly right. When you allow the mind as a servant, it is of tremendous value. So do not reject it. To reject it will impoverish you instead of enriching you. I am not against the mind. I am totally in favor of transcending it. And if you reject, you cannot transcend. Use it as a stepping stone. It all depends on you. You can make it an obstacle, a hindrance, if you start thinking that mind has to be rejected, denied and destroyed. Or you can make it a stepping stone if you accept it. The moment you accept the mind, it becomes a stepping stone, not a big piece of pebble in your way. If you try to understand it, then it becomes a stepping stone and for that you have to accept it and you try to understand it. In the very effort of understanding it, transcendence happens. You go beyond it. You become a witness. But never cling to awareness. Clinging is bound to happen if you reject the mind. If you reject the mind, you are bound to cling to something. And clinging to something is not right. Clinging is bound to happen. If you reject the mind, then you need something to cling to. And you will start clinging to awareness. And clinging is nothing but mind functioning from the back door. Clinging is the nature of the mind. Clinging is again a process of the mind, but that is bound to happen to people who reject and repress it. The question is of transformation. The mind has to be used rightly as hardware is used in a computer. If you learn the art of using the mind correctly, then there will be no clinging to awareness either. Otherwise, afraid of the mind that it may come back, you will cling to awareness, which normally happens with the people. Remember, in clinging it has already come back, but from the back door. It is already there. Clinging is mind. Mind means clinging to something. Clinging is mind and non-clinging is intrinsic to awareness. When you clinging is the nature of the mind and non-clinging is intrinsic to awareness. You cannot cling to awareness. If you cling it is just mind phenomena. Your awareness too is just a pseudo thing created by mind because you were asking too much for it. It is false, utterly false and if you have to cling to awareness then it will become false. So remember, mind is a useful mechanism 
you have to understand it and in that very understanding you transcend the mind you go beyond it enough for now